You ever seen such a blatant robbery? The, the thieves were a rat and a bear. They looted the denture shop of bare teeth. By the next day, the rat doctor started collecting teeth again. The doctor scolded Lisa, but if you don't find 50 bare teeth, don't ever come back. Lisa turned around and opened the sack. There were a thousand teeth inside. The doctor hugged Lisa happily, and Lisa became the idol of everyone. At night, a huge creature appeared in the mice's dormitory, stretching out with its mouth wide open. It was the mice's nemesis, the big bear. Even the mouse teacher looked dumbfounded. It, it turns out that Lisa has brought back the stray bear. The alarm went off throughout the rat kingdom. The rat police are out in force, ready to capture the invading bear. With Lisa's guidance, the bear managed to escape to the ground. Then they went to the bear's home. At night the bear ate and played the piano. Lisa couldn't sleep because of the noise. Then Lisa's siblings came to settle the score with him. He was surrounded by rats. Struggling, Lisa woke up in Roy's arms. Roy said it was just a dream. Don't be afraid. Lisa said the whole rat world doesn't want me anymore. But Roy said you still have me. Lisa loved to draw. So Roy made him a drawing board and willingly posed for him. Roy got sick and Lisa was by his side to look after him. But it didn't last long. The bear and rat cops were on their trail. They were soon both arrested. On the day of the trial, the bear judge shouted at Roy for stealing the sweets and sentenced him to life imprisonment. The mouse judge agreed. Lisa then shouted back at the bear judge. The rat judge sentenced Lisa to a lifetime of hard labor on the border. Roy also shouted his displeasure. Judge Rat was furious but accidentally knocked over the candlestick. A fire broke out in the courtroom. In the nick of time, Lisa pulled down the red cloth to cover Judge Bear. Roy picked up Judge Rat and the others and rushed out of the fire. The rat and the bear, condemned by both worlds, but they saved everyone, and everyone let go of their prejudices. And so Lisa and Roy lived happily ever after. This film is about the friendship between a mouse and a bear that crosses racial lines. Only people who are kind to each other are attracted to each other. If a person has good intentions, it will get better in the end.